So good morning, guys. I'm Laurie from So Social Media. Welcome to my insight. Um, so just logo where I'm from. Um, so obviously this is my first insight. So I thought I would kind of just explain myself a little bit more. Um, for those of you that have linked me on LinkedIn, you may see that my name is Lauren Price on LinkedIn and then Laurie in brackets. So who is Laurie and who is Lauren? Do my parents really love me and give me two names or have I just got a split personality? It's a bit of both. Um, so growing up, I was a very, very shy child, um, very, very nervous, very, very introverted, loved animals, loved reading and books and kind of weird and a bit geeky. Um, and so when I turned 15, um, I kind of created this alter ego, which was Laurie. And she was everything that I couldn't be. And so I just pretended it was like this character that I created, um, you know, very extroverted, went to lots of festivals, had lots of friends, went out drinking, did all these things that Lauren always wanted to do, but couldn't because I was so shy as a child. Um, and obviously, as I've got older um, and I've invested in therapy, I've learned to accept Lauren and that actually she is me and we are the same. Um, for so long, I really kind of hated myself and I was, I'm so glad that I'm Laurie now and I'm not Lauren. And I used to hate being called Lauren because every time I did, I was thrown back to this, you know, nerdy girl with glasses and frizzy hair and buck teeth. And I really just didn't like that version of myself. Um, but, you know, now that I've grown up, I'm 22, I'm like, Do you know what? I was that thing and I'm really, really proud. So there's a few photos. Um, I've got my dog there. Uh, so I've got Rudy, who's the little black cocker there. Safi, who is my childhood dog. Um, bless her, she passed away when I was 12. Lived till she was 17. Um, every time we took her to the vet, we were like, this is it, get ready to say our goodbyes. And then she just carried on living. Um, then I've got Ralph, who is the uh, chocolate cocker at the bottom there. You can see my hamster tattoo, which is Binky. Um, and then I've got Sam, who was my dog um, that I got for my seventh birthday. Um, just absolute light of my life. I lost him in 2020 and it just has never been the same since. Um, so I am quite extroverted. Um, great friends, lots of nights out, lots of drinking, lots of bad decisions made. Um, I love music. I try and go to at least two concerts, festivals every year. Um, so in the photos, I've seen the 1975 three times now. Um, I went to wireless last year. That was amazing. Just so surreal, incredible. Um, I also then went to board masters. It was just incredible. Um, and then there's also a photo with me and my friend Annie, and we went to the Van Gogh Museum. Um, it was just an immersive experience. It was just so cool. Different from what I normally do, but insane. Just awesome. A um, few photos of friends, and then there is me and my family, so my mum, my dad, and my brother. Um, yeah, so just kind of two different people, but now merged into one and kind of accepting that this is who I am. So moving on, how did I get into so social media? So growing up, I was a huge animal lover, still am. I'm absolutely covered in them. I've got like 28 tattoos, and most of them are animals. Um, but growing up, I wanted to be a police dog handler, which Lauren, everyone said, you want to be a police dog handler? Completely different. We thought you wanted to be an author or a copywriter. And I was like, no, I want to be a police dog handler. Didn't think I could do anything else. This is all I wanted to do. I had tunnel vision from the age of eight. I'm going to be a police dog handler. Never thought I would do anything else. Um, so then when I turned 14, uh, 14th birthday, my mum turned to me and said, happy birthday, you're going to get a job, uh, hence the stock image of a waitress, because I absolutely hated being a waitress. I was in hospitality from the age of 14 to 15, a um, few different pubs, um, you know, cafes, things like that, hated it, awful, I was so shy, so awkward, and that's when I realised I need to really change the way that I am, because I have to interact with people. So then I got a job at the pet shop, which is where my confidence was starting to build a bit more because I knew what I was talking about. I knew I could help with these animals. But again, stock image, because I didn't like it. Having to tell people, no, you cannot have a five-year-old look solely after a guinea pig. And no, actually, you can't put two hamsters together because they will kill themselves. No, I can't sell you this mouse to feed your snake because that's completely unethical and immoral. Uh, so I enjoyed it for a little bit. I was on £4.20 an hour. Um, which is a 15 year old 
even I knew that that was ridiculous. Um, so then Home Bargains opened in Monmouth when I was 17. And I was like, yeah, I'll do that for six months, just until I'm a police dog handler, then I'll leave. And I never left. Uh, for four years, I was in Home Bargains because I couldn't join the police force. Uh, my eyesight, I just didn't qualify. It was the one thing I couldn't change. I could get my fitness levels up. I could be more assertive and dominant and really work hard. But the one thing I couldn't do was change my eyesight. It was five grand to have my eyes done, which as a seven, 18 year old, I didn't have. Um, and also my prescriptions changed all the time. You need to have three years of it, no change. And so this dream that I had was just taken from me. And I was very, very, you know, I felt like I'd been hard done by. So I ended up staying at Home Bargains. All my friends went off to uni and I just felt stuck because I didn't have a backup plan. Um, so then I became a manager at the end of 2019. In October, my manager turned to me and said, hey, do you want to be a manager? You know, get Christmas out of the way and then it's pretty easy. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, I've got nothing better to do. Little did I know that in 2020, uh, you know, a pandemic would hit. All of a sudden, I'm quite a, you know, laid back 19 year old getting quite a bit of money. I then have to run a shop and I have staff that I have to then tell what to do. I have to split up grown women who are fighting over toilet roll. I have to explain, no, you cannot buy 36 bottles of hand soap because what about everyone else? And literally overnight, it was like, oh my God, I have to actually be an adult. Um, so I stuck at it. And then in August of 2020, I decided, actually, I really love animals and I feel like I've given up on what I wanted to pursue originally. So I went back to college. Um, I went back down to being a store assistant at Home Bargains and I did a two year extended diploma in animal management. Uh, loved it, really loved it, but I just didn't feel satisfied. So I finished my extended diploma, I got distinction star, I aced everything because I really was passionate and then set up my own business, which was Walkers with Laurie in July of uh, 2022. So last year, um, it started off great. You know, I really appreciated the, you know, the people that I worked with. It was awesome, but it still didn't feel like I was hitting that mark. So I then went back to Home Bargains, was there for a few months and then became part of So Social, which I will talk about a little bit now. So what are what is so social? So we are a social media management and development agency. We're based in Monmouth. We're a team of 26. We're in our seventh year at the moment, which Sam set this up in 2015, and we are growing very, very quickly. So we do work with primarily uh, small to medium-sized businesses that haven't got that massive budget but need social media to be active to bring in leads cost-effectively. So we manage Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Google Business, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest, everything. Um, we have over 500 clients worldwide, a lot are based in Bristol and in the UK, but there's also some dotted all over the world. So obviously we're focused mainly on SMEs, um, but we also work with sole traders, franchises and larger companies. So this is kind of the process. We research the client with our brand guidelines, we custom copy, graphic creation, stock images, and then we share the content. So our USP is our price point. We're incredibly cost effective. Um, you know, we don't just create posts. We like copywriting and branded graphics. We do engagement work, which is where the value is sharing content on uh, local Facebook groups and building connections on LinkedIn, understanding that client's needs. Who wants to do so? There we go. That's kind of freelance social media related services. We also do white labeling, um, which is so we offer management and development of your social media accounts. We work with a huge range of domestic and commercial businesses and where we sit in the market is between freelancer and field service marketing agency, so incredibly cost effective. Our clients have one dedicated account manager and our services are flexible. But also if you have an assurance and experience team, knowledge and resources in agency, so it's the best of both worlds. Um, so with white labeling, it's basically, well, it is like kind of, you know, going through and we have we're a trusted white label of uh, around 45 plus agencies in the UK. Um, so we're providing social media management for their clients completely under their brand name. So look easy and cost effective. So our deal referral to us at the moment is trades, hospitality, 
and kind of property estate agents, architect designers and surveyors. At the moment, we're actually one up and we are finally on top of the amount of clients that we've got because we've got so many people. Um, so we are looking, you know, for referrals at the moment as direct clients. So if you have anyone in mind, please just pass them my way and I'll book a one to one with you. We can discuss it a little bit more. So, yeah, thank you for listening. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Laurie.